Hi guys. What's up? What's up? <clears throat> hey. Hi guys, what's up Maddie? Guys, I'm so excited. Ah, this is a crazy. Bitter is number one in Panama. Is that, a, is that for real? Got a screenshot that, are you kidding? Guys, what's up? How's everybody doing? I'm so fucking excited. How fun. Um, so crazy. Like, I love this song. I'm honestly, like, you guys pushed me to put it out. Like, I was, I wouldn't have put this song out had you not asked for it as much as you did. So, I'm, I'm sharing this one with you guys. My little bitter baby. <laughs> um, my hair looks good does it really it was doing something really weird and super fuzzy and uh so i just i threw it up in this situation watch the bitter video and got pregnant i think you only child support now that is the funniest shit ever oh my god um <clears throat> so yeah anyway i figured i was just gonna hop on this to just be like hello and that i'm fucking stoked and i love you guys and i thought it'd be cool to um bring on keto and then um mary whites to i don't know just like talk about bitter and the making of bitter and i mean this is just like this is literally you, like your song you guys wanted this song out so badly and like this one is legitimately for you like you should have seen the amount of texts on a daily basis that like me and my team were just exchanging with each other and would be like, God, this fu everyone's asking for this fucking song. Like, what should we just put out this fucking song? And then literally like up until the day I was putting it out up until yesterday, I was literally getting D like tweets and DMs about it being like cool love forever strip but like where's bitter bitch and i'm just like oh my god this fucking song and then now i'm just like i'm stoked and it's one of my favorite songs that i've ever put out and it's like m my favorite video that i've ever made and yeah this is just this one's for you guys so anyway uh let's i'm gonna um pull keto on so we can just talk about cute times i always forget how to do this because i'm truly a pathetic joke okay here we go <clears throat> Hello. hi happy release day happy release day to us how cute is this I know. I, I literally so went. I walked so to go tough. get. I went to go get a beer because I feel like I just need to a, glu a gluten free beer. One. Everyone's, everyone's gonna shade me. This is not a real beer, guys. It's a gluten free beer. I don't know if it's any good. We're about to find out. <sighs> yeah, tell me. I mean, I'm I'm the same. I've got. It's not the same, but I have a green juice, so I'm also doing. It's not good. No, it's not good. It's I, I, I want to wine, to be honest. I yeah. Think in like one more hour. I'll, it I'll it feels like it feels it feels fitting. I feel like we definitely have to have a drink. I think so right. yeah, definitely. And this whole week it's like release week. Oh my god, 100%. No tequila, maybe tequila. I don't know. <laughs> um all right, let's okay, you guys, how should we everyone is saying like we stand bitter. Um yeah. I just, I just newly figured out there's like a questions tab that you could go on and see what people are asking. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see what we've got going on here. I mean, what do you guys have questions? Like somebody, uh, somebody ask us and think, cause I don't like that. I can't see keto as I'm looking at these. <laughs> um, 
but I don't know. Should we just talk? I mean, so like, how did it come about? What also, when was it? When did we write it? It was like, I actually, I was trying to remember. It was middle of last year. Was it? Was it earlier? I don't know. It was kind of cold because it was cold. It was I kind of chilly. Yeah. And it was the first time we ever worked together. Mm -hmm. And you and Mary obviously know yeah. each other. Yeah. And it was like a reunion, right? So you had yeah. to see each other for ages. Yeah. And I'd worked with Mary once before. Once, I think. Yes. And, but it was just like, I think we spent hours just like hanging out and talking in my studio, which I'm in now, the room yeah. I'm in now. The, just the, like hanging the room that we wrote bitter in the little yeah and like walked up got coffees i think we talked for like hours before we started writing a song yeah we did we literally we didn't jump right into it we talked like we told yeah. a lot of stories we talked about a lot of stuff and yeah and then i think m me and mary started talking and i had just i had written down the word bitter because i was yeah. like kind of feeling bitter at the time and I was, we started just talking about like a bunch of stuff and like you started telling a story and then I started telling a story and Mary did. And then it, that's just kind of how it happened. And I, I think, yeah, sorry. No, no, it's fine. And then I think we were, um, and then like the verses, the writing the verses was my favorite part because we started talking about all the things that we like wish that like we what are the things that you feel bitter about? And it's just like, what makes you bitter? And it's obviously shit like when you're waiting for a text back from somebody that like you're super into and then you like finally go to look at it and it's your fucking mom and you're just like, well, that's <laughs> Or just, I don't know. I just like, yeah, yeah. I think writing the, writing the, uh, the, the, those verse lyrics was like probably my favorite part. Definitely. And I think I turned around to just like, you know, start some ideas, some chords or whatever. And you guys were just talking and I didn't really know a song was coming together because it was just yeah, no, no, like, <laughs> we were just like, de we were literally being really stupid and like yeah. barely writing at all. And we didn't know what part of it was like going to be a lyric and not. Um, but that's the best. Like when a song kind of falls out from a story and you know, then at some point, whatever, you were like, this sounds good. Like, let's, let's put it on this or whatever. And, and, and I, I kind of love when you, it's like sometimes when you start writing a song or like a session with new people, because we hadn't worked together before. It's like, there's no expectations. You just like, see if you, if you vibe. Totally. And so I think we dived into it like that, which is cool. Yeah. And then, and then we kind of like left it. We were, we really liked the song and then we kind of left it for a little bit. Yeah. And then it got synced on the L word. Yeah. The demo. <laughs> the demo. The demo got synced on the L word, which was like a demo vocal, a demo production, like our day of. And then everyone was like, where's the song? Where's the song? Like put out the song. And then I, we it hadn't worked out timing wise for both of us. Cause we were both working on different stuff. Yeah. And then, yeah, quarantine happened and I was still getting DMs like 24 seven. And so were you of just being like, put out bitter, put out bitter, put out bitter. Yeah. And we were like, okay, well then I think we should probably put out bitter. Um, yeah. <laughs> and, and then we worked on the production like via FaceTime for like, what, two weeks? Yeah. And just like went back and forth and like I recorded some I recorded some ad libs like on my iPhone that I sent you we yeah. like really did this like in such a homemade way which I fucking love and I was shocked because they sounded yeah. I was like I'm just gonna try like at first I was like just send a few little bits and we'll see if they can like fit in the song we can just like process them and make them sound cool like reverb and stuff and then you sent me like a whole ad lib track and do you remember I freaked out because mm -hmm. it sounded so sick and I was like is this all for nothing like do we need studio <laughs> yeah do we should we just start making a whole album <laughs> um, kind of a mood yeah someone's told me to stop touching my face I think it's it's so like unconscious like sometimes you're just like no I know I my, I, I can't help I, I can't help it yeah yeah it's so it, hard <laughs> Yeah, I also got, I also I like went and got the an antibody test to find out that I don't have the antibodies and I'm oh, literally oh, I'm, no. I thought I did. I was like no, yes. I definitely have them. No. I'm convinced too, no. but it's not completely 
accurate. Okay. Yeah. No, it's definitely uh, been a very weird, stressful time. But I feel like, yeah, yeah I feel working on this was just like, it has honestly, was honestly such a good distraction for me and how, like, I felt super creative. And, you know, we were just like in a group chat with Yumi and Mary and being like, what about this ad lib? What about this? Yeah. Um, wait, somebody said, um, Team Coke or Team Pepsi? This is so funny. I, do you remember? I wasn't on board with this lyric. No. That, the, okay. Yeah. Keto was not on board with this lyric. She wanted uh, to change the lyric the whole time. You were like, guys, I don't think I can get into the Coke Pepsi thing. I don't get it. <laughs> I was not sure. It's grown on me so much. And now I really like it. <laughs> yeah. No, I know. It's I, I love it. And I was like, no, that's the one line that has to stay. Um, yeah, yeah, you're right. We didn't end up changing any lyrics. It was just the that it was just the way that it was, and we just ended up working on the production and added some, um, added all like the ad libs to the end. Um, yeah. What yeah. a vibe! What a vibe! What a vibe! Time. Yeah. Um, let's see if anybody's asking any anything else about if bitter was a color, what would it be? Hmm. I I just think of yellow because I think of like yeah. the, the sun and that like sexy video that you made it's like it's just like warm you know like honey yeah. I don't know I, honey lemons. lemons well also when I think of yeah I feel like it could be in the like lemon lime family you know yeah, yeah. Like there's, there's there's some green <laughs> happening in there also it's kind of just like it's a really salty petty feeling so that kind of I feel like maybe yeah maybe would be green um yeah. Okay. Question. How about this? What inspired the production? Shit slaps. Thanks. Um, I don't know what inspired it really. Like we, it's it's like the song came first over chords over the guitar, um, which is not real guitar. It's just um, programmed guitar because I'm actually a terrible musician, so I <laughs> my way around everything. T the T. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think the production kind of builds from the song like when you have a song over chords and it sort of sets the tone and the personality and it's the story and then it's like it's got like a toughness to it it's a sexy song so it needs like some it needs to like bounce and the drums need to like hit you and yeah. so I, I think I, it's that nice balance like and I think that's when when we were talking about it and finishing it it was like we were always talking about making sure like those those bits still like it's still got a sort of aggressiveness to it or something you know yeah and I feel like we played around with a couple different like bass ideas too which is I feel like what ended up really um pushing the production definitely your notes are always so good it's it's so nice like working together when when like you know the feedback is like oh fuck yeah like that's gonna just push it further oh we Totally. No, it was, uh, sorry, I'm trying to read some of these questions. Are you going to make bitter merch? Oh, we should. <laughs> we should make bitter merch. I don't know if we can. We'd be like, yes. the eye dying t shirts. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Imagine that. We're just like going around the house finding like old <laughs> shit to just like send out to people and just like yeah. writing bitter on it with a sharpie. Yeah. I don't know if we can make merch now. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. Um, hmm. How did you guys meet? Well, we met, the first time we met was the day that we wrote Bitter. Yeah, that's so cool. I love that. Oh, no, I love that, too. Um, hmm. <laughs> People keep asking me about what highlighter I use in the music. <laughs> <laughs> guys, honestly, it was some, like, shitty CVS shit. Like, it was... <laughs> not dope like it's not anything special it was also one i think it's a sample like it was like a sample of something that came in something else like it makes it even better yeah <laughs> um lots of stuff about pepsi and coke uh it was the line what's your favorite lyric is it gonna be that one what is what's your favorite lyric from the video trying to think what mine um i'm not sure uh 
I don't know. I just feel like, I mean, my, mine's honestly just like the top of the chorus. Like, yeah, I know you fucked her on the counter right before I, your dinner. That's, that's my my head as well. Yeah, that's the only one. Like, that's 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 the lyric. That's yeah. the one. Also, my mom texted me this morning. She was like, "Aggressive lyrics, huh? A little risque." And I'm like, "I'm waiting for my mom to text me too, because she she was like, what's the song called?'" And I sent it to her, and I'm just waiting. Yeah, <laughs> for, for her to be like, uh, "Nice." You're like, I don't know about this one. Like, maybe she'll love it and surprise me. I don't know. Um, we also it's it's in the top twenty five on iTunes, which is I know, which is How? so crazy. Literally, yes. like them every that them like they Thank you, they everyone. did that <laughs> it's That's actually so true cool. though we just put the song out and like th that's, yeah. that's fucking crazy that's so cool that is somebody so said cool. somebody said i don't know how to look at fruit anymore <laughs> that's, that's amazing wow. i mean yeah i don't know <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for, for popping in the live and saying hi. Thank you. Happy release day. I know. I'm so stoked. We should, uh, we should FaceTime later and take a, a shot or something. I think, yeah, definitely. I'm okay. definitely going to back. Okay. All right. Bye, everyone. I'll see you later. See ya. <laughs> okay. Hello, guys. What's up? very i'm really giddy and excited um also this is the first i wrote this in my caption on instagram yesterday but it, this is the first song that i've ever um released that was produced and written and the music video was directed and edited all by women which is fucking cool and feels like super powerful and was really really sick for me to do that um but I can't believe that it's in the top 25 on iTunes. Like you, y'all did that. That's so crazy. Um, but anyway, also, yes. So that was Keto. Go follow Keto if you haven't. She's really dope and really rad. I um, I want to, it, it, Mary, are you in here? <laughs> are you floating around somewhere in this live chat? Um, what's with this lollipop? I don't know what's what's not what's wrong with the lollipop lollipops are fun also I I'm, I'm like having like a weird like like I've been been just like craving candy I don't know what's about what that's about but I, I brought some skittles to skittles have entered the chat you're the best songwriter for breakup bops congrats that's really sweet thank you um it's 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 a it's an interesting thing to write about so often um but anyway i want to try to guest mary in this bitch with the account name this bitch mary oh i just leaked that was not good um Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hey, girlie. What's up? Not much. I've never been on a live. This Ever? Is never. Are you kidding? I'm not kidding. Are we popping your live cherry right now? Right now. As we For speak. some reason, I feel like li like lives with other people, like, I feel like my social cues go out the window. <laughs> because I feel like I'm trying to read at the same time and also talk and it like it just feels so weird impossible yeah I don't know how you're doing it I don't know how you're answering the question it's just but it's honestly I'm kind, of, I'm kind of like just making them up as I go and like thinking about what people maybe would want to yeah, know like, nobody's asking these questions you're just hoping yeah exactly <laughs> um well you guys this is Mary White's <laughs> Hi, really, really fucking amazing songwriter. Um, and we wrote Bitter together. <laughs> yes, we wrote Bitter Don't together. That. Also, and it's in the top, it's in the top 25 on iTunes. I know. I just heard that when you told uh, Keto. It's fucking wild. I know. Isn't your that crazy? Are, your fans are amazing. Yeah. I'm so stoked. Yeah. I'm so fucking stoked. They're I need to hear that. So um, fucking 
Should we should we talk lyrics? Should we talk NYU? Should we talk? Yeah, I don't know. Where do we start? Okay, so you guys, me and Mary went to college together, and we met uh, when we were eighteen. Yep. And what was the class? What class were we in? I think it was um, fundamentals of audio workstations. Uh, <laughs> with like, what was your Prince what Carl. was your first what was your first impression of me? Um. Well, when you came into, I hope you don't hate me for this, but when you came into Clive, everyone's first impression of you was, oh, the X Factor girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <She> was, <laughs> but I remember mm -hmm. thinking, I remember thinking when I when I first met you, I was just like, I I didn't know that someone this pretty could be this funny and this nice, and I remember oh, being really blown away by that. And then, and then you and I became friends because we would start like looking at each other in class when something weird would happen, but no one else would seem to notice, and we'd be the only two people laughing. I also just feel like you and I might have been the people that like knew what was going on the least in terms of like that production class. Oh, no. I I definitely was. No. I definitely was like looking to you to be like, help me. Absolutely. I am so. <laughs> No, and I'm sure we did help each other in, in every way we could. <laughs> yeah, and we definitely, we may have cheated on a few tests together. That is also... Yeah, if, if we have any old professors watching or, like, the dean of NYU, please don't revoke. Please exit the chat, dean of NYU. <laughs> um, yeah, and then, and then, like, college happened, and yeah. then writing bitter was, like, the first time that we'd, like, seen each other in a while. Yeah, amazing. Amazing to like just reconnect and reconnect on that sort of level where I don't know, I, I think you and I like it just felt like we picked up where we had left off, you know, and the rapport between us is so easy every single time. So I mean, we we laugh our way through the whole thing. I know. <laughs> I, I remember I remember being on the being there with keto and just like us laughing so hard. And I was like, I just had this moment of thought of being like, we're really <laughs> me <laughs> uh, yeah same same like wow I would hate us right now but like that's why keto's the best because like she just no, like she... yeah didn't didn't mind at all was so awesome had that guitar loop waiting for us like when we got in there and it was just like go time and I yeah I, I all those lyrics I mean I can I can think of specific stories for some of them but um I know the first line yeah we wrote, give me some the first line we wrote based off of it one time we just had someone tell us that being around us felt like being, you know, on the outside of an inside joke. So, <laughs> oh my like, God. Yeah. Somebody literally said they were like, when I hang out with you guys, I feel like I'm on the outside of an inside joke. Fuck, I that blew our that. minds. Should we, should we let her know? Should we give her a pub? <laughs> <laughs> I, oh my God. And that's how it's like being on the outside of an inside joke. <laughs> and then. And then I was like, and then the second line came because I was like, I keep only hearing the word cope, but that seems really stupid. And then you were like, no, but it's kind of like, it's kind of like when, when you, when they only have Pepsi, but you really want Coke. And I was like, is that horrible or is that lit? <laughs> and it was perfect And then Keto too. hated it and Keto <laughs> hated it. And we were like, no, it's good. <laughs> know the line and I can I can understand because at first you know it might be like okay Pepsi and Coke like this is dumb like this has been done no no not not in this way it hasn't no <laughs> oh. and then and you and I are proud Coke supporters as well yeah, yeah exactly yeah. Coke Coke all the way if you don't like it then yeah don't get it twisted y'all don't be bitter <laughs> don't be <laughs> so lame um <laughs> And then how did the, like, I have such a shitty memory. Like, how did the chorus come about? I got you. I got you. Um, yeah. G give us um, the deets. Uh, well, I just remember, I remember it totally, you had, you were just like, I really love the word bitter. Like, let's, let's make the word bitter happen. Um, and I was about that. And I also know that, like, you just, you wanted something raunchy that day. And that's, that's how the counter lyric came about. Because, like, that was just, we needed something that was, like, fuck like I can't believe she just said that and like that was that feeling I remember that was wild but I know like the end like making it say bitter at the end like we knew we had to get to the word bitter and it was like a puzzle in between because yeah. we're like okay no, there's I, kissing and you taste my mouth and like <laughs> no I remember that and I remember coming to you and my original idea was like what if we said like 
um, I don't like my original idea was like for it to be sarcastic and for it to be like, oh, I don't mind the way that you like don't call me anymore and you only call her or whatever, right. but I'm not bitter or whatever. It was right. like, how do I do that? And you're like, okay, but what if we did? And then you were like, well, what's the opposite of bitter? And then you're like, how can you get to it being like a taste in your mouth? And then I was like, oh, fuck, that's so good. And then it was literally this puzzle piece together. And I was like, wait, let's say something like so dirty yeah. and porous. <laughs> and, and it just turned just out perfectly. I just, and I remember when we had that full chorus, I just like, we felt we were so proud. We were just like, this, this chorus. <laughs> yeah. And then we had to slap. A fucking wild. So, so good. I, I will always be proud of that chorus because I just think the wordplay is so fun. And and I like that we're embracing bitterness, you know? Like, especially, you know, a lot of us women get called bitter. Well, you know, we're going to, we'll take it, we'll embrace it, and we'll make it, you know, fucking sexy. Make it, and make it sexy as hell. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Oh, no, that was such a good day. And, like, we, I feel like we sessions like ever since then also have just been such a combination of just like storytelling about old times <laughs> and just like t telling the dumbest fucking stories i know uh, I, they make me so excited though because it's you know i when we write it's definitely more of a hangout than like a a business thing you know no business here oh no no business here but somebody somebody asked me like what's it like to write with mary and i think the thing that's like really cool about writing with you is like you really fight like you fight for a lyric if it's not right you're just like you you will push it to make sure that it gets there and like even the way that we did with bitter i was like okay here's this here's this idea and you're like yeah you're, there's like something there but i feel like if we just worded it a little bit differently it could be like way more honest and like way more and like smarter honestly just like, yeah clear. Um, so Thank like you. you really like, I, I, yeah, I give you the, you, you, you came through with the, um, uh, I bet you sugarcoat the truth. I bet you're real sweet with her. And that's my favorite that honestly, aside from you fucked her on the counter right before you cooked your dinner. That is my favorite lyric. Cause like sugarcoat, sugarcoat the truth, like real sweet, bitter. Ugh. Oh, I know. Oh, the payoff was so, we just, it's sweet. It's, it's, it's the sweet. perfect day. So sweet, so fucking sweet. I know this this song has so many ironies throughout it, but that's what makes it work so so well. And I also love that our second verse like kind of brings it real into the real like world and like it's a little more personal obviously, like it's not mm -hmm. the stupid. I also I also want to say if anyone's listening and you thought the lyrics in the pre-chorus were something about like i know i said i know i said i know i said it's kind of stupid no no you're wrong that's not the lyric <laughs> it's it's i know this shit is kind of stupid yeah shit the the word shit and we're referring to right we're, we're referring, referring to, the to poop yeah <laughs> <laughs> the verse every time and you know we wrote that pre-chorus because literally after we were, wrote the first verse we were like all these little this things like, so we were like it's it's stupid like what did we just write like, <laughs> well, i know and i was like i feel like we have to acknowledge the fact that what we just yeah. said that that shit I, is stupid it's our most it's our most meta line in that whole song so there you go that's yeah genius needs to you know get it straight anybody who's commenting lyrics I yeah, know. it's not, I know I said, it's, I know this shit is kind of stupid. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh my God. Well, honestly, that was like, that was, I, I like, re I remember that session so vividly too. I feel like that always happens when you write a song that feels You're like, feels really You can totally. like, I mean, I have a terrible memory, but like, that's, that's so funny. I fuck it. That's the first thing we said, like, what makes you big? And you're yeah. like, would you remember that one time that somebody said hanging out with us feels like they're on the outside of an, of an inside joke? That also is just, like, such a horrible way to make somebody feel. Like, I would fucking <laughs> hate to be on the other side of that. I know. So shitty. The way they said like, to, us... to write an I feel like we need to write an apology and be like, do you want 2% publishing on this <laughs> song? <laughs> we are so sorry we made you feel that way. Um, no, I, it's so funny. And, and I remember that session, we also, we, like, took photos we went outside and I had like I had like a third or like fourth date with someone that night like there was so many things going keto's friend like came by at the end of the session and took like, those and took those film pictures of us which we yeah yeah exactly which, which I'm so glad we have now that's just Ugh. like beyond yeah that we I have know. It, like 
it, it documents the day. And then didn't we go get snacks at some point? Didn't yeah, we go or to, like, no, no, no. Little, you, and like... I, you and I stayed in the room, and I think Keto went out and she got us snacks, like, like the real oh, yeah. thing she is, yeah. <laughs> And, and she I had, have, like, I the have, best selection. <laughs> I, with some Cool Ranch Doritos. <laughs> that was oh, the I vibe. Love, I love that. Let it me was see. Perfect day. It was so perfect. Um, let's yeah, see. Nice. Trying to see if there's any other... <laughs> you don't really uh, know. Oh, the pictures are so good, but y'all never see them. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not for you. <laughs> you definitely see them. Uh, wait, also, we were joking before because me and Mary were, like, reenacting this situation in which, like, imagine she got on here and, and somebody was like, oh, what's it like to work with Carrie? Like, what is she like in the studio? And she just starts to break off. <laughs> but I, was, like, just some, like, I wrote the whole song. She had no part in it. She just sat there and she <laughs> me. Not one lyric was her not idea. Her. <laughs> it's not true at all. Oh, my God. It's, it's a dream. It's a dream to write with Carrie Fletcher. <laughs> that's so cute that's so cute um okay wait i asked this i asked keto this but what's your what is your favorite favorite lyric um i mean that's so hard and i feel really like closely tied to like all the lyrics so i'm i don't know how to i mean the counter fucking like counter fucking counter fucking i mean like, that's that's the hottest lyric i think the the actually the first line of the whole thing is my favorite in the sense that like i just love how personal it is to you and me and how funny that like kicked off our song um and then other than that um and I think my favorite lyric for like the the way you do it your delivery of it is the the you know I don't give a fuck yeah I do like I love yeah. I just love that. it's so sly it's, it's so perfect and it's like admitting something that you know obviously no one wants to admit they give a fuck but like that's what the best no, part but it's all true song, but... we all yeah. di we all give such a we all give like that yeah, we all get, we could say like, "Oh, fuck that, fuck that person." Like, no, we really do give a fuck. Exactly. Exactly. Somebody said. It. Somebody said, "Why fuck before fucking?" <laughs> <laughs> because you're why not? Do it afterwards, <laughs> okay? You're gonna you're gonna want to fuck beforehand. <laughs> yeah. Not <laughs> after you eat your right, and then you work up an appetite. You know. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Somebody said. Somebody said best slash craziest memory or moment from nyu should we tell the hand uh the hand story well it's not really much <laughs> you and i can't remember <laughs> uh well uh we went to uh well we went to a party in the east village and <laughs> got drunk we were and, and, there, and there was a um we were like somebody had like a little courtyard in the in the backyard of their apartment yeah. and there was way too many people out there and i think you had come over to me and and like two like after like right after we got there and then like 20 minutes later you were like i just fucking burned my hand on this on this person's light. like light. So light there was some light on the porch that like was placed so low where someone could just like back up and my hand hit it and it gave me like a legitimate third degree burn. It was it was horrifying. And Carrie's like, oh, that's horrible. And then, yeah. then we got home. We got home like back to your dorm later that night. And you're like, Mary. And you held up your hand and you'd gotten the exact same burn. On my hand because and then I was wasted and I realized that some I was hugging somebody. And then they fell and then my hand got stuck between that's their how it and this hot that's how it happened and this hot metal and then i burned my hand and i still have i don't know if like you could see it right now but i, I can see after this about long. years i would say but yeah we had we had we had these matching scars on our hand for a while that i mean we weren't like proud we just thought it was hilarious that like even after i warned carrie too about this light yeah she was like don't go over to that left corner there's a hot <laughs> fucking light over there that's going to burn you and then yeah Oh, but so many, so many fun times. I mean, yeah, Carrie and I just laughed a lot. We had a lot of fun in class. We we went rollerblading in Central Park once. Um, we went rollerblading. We, came, we went to my house for um, when that hurricane happened on the mm -hmm. East Coast. We went to your house a few times. Yeah, that was, I mean, that was the best that you, you lived close enough. 
that we could go visit there and like your parents are the the dopest people in the world and like your mom makes like way too much food every single time and everyone's like I'm full and your mom's like I've got more yeah. <laughs> oh that's so cute well I'm so glad that you hopped on and we were able to talk about it and thank you, you guys this is my this first is lovely everyone follow Mary she writes really fucking dope songs I'm such a talented writer narrating all y'all's feels <laughs> love you Carrie thank you all right I love you I'll talk to you soon bye Bye. Cute. The Italian's always ready for food. Yeah, all the time, at all times. Um, oh, that was so cute, you guys. I love Mary. I love keto. Yeah, you're so cool, Mary. I know, Mary's the fucking coolest ever. And her mom's in here. Shelly, what's up? Um... <laughs> But anyway, yeah, that was that was uh, some some co some college moments. Maybe I should guess more people from my past. So you guys can learn more about me because I feel embarrassed telling stories, telling stories about myself. But um, yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of I mean, not that it's juicy. I was just like such a like nerdy ass little kid. Um, but. So, oh, and then, yeah, the, the video was honestly so fun to make. Me and Shannon made it together. Um, and we filmed it over the course of a couple of days. And it's my favorite video that, that I've ever made. I think Shannon has, like, such, such an amazing way of, like, not just capturing me, but just, like, people in general and just making people feel, feel really comfortable and, like, feel in their skin, like, feel really good in their skin. Um, and so I feel like she just brings out such, like, such an honest side because she just kind of wears her heart on her sleeve all the time. Um, the The honey was... <laughs> The honey was really hard to clean up. It was like a fucking mess. And I, there is no feeling that I hate being more than feeling sticky. Like when I get, if you're, I'm eating and I was eating an ice cream cone the other day because why wouldn't you eat an ice cream cone? And, um, I, I don't like, I don't like feeling like having, I don't like feeling sticky. So the honey was just, it, I felt like the residue on me for like a day. And I was like, Ugh. and like, but, but. yeah Tess edited the video and then sent it back to us and then we edited it more and then it was just like such a collaborative process and it, it was so it was so fun and we just switched between this like DIY like handy cam that Shannon has our camera um why honey I don't know because honey is just kind of like sexual and like I wanted to play with all, all the things that are you know I bet you sugarcoat the truth I bet you're real sweet with her so we had like watermelon and strawberries and lollipops and honestly just it just it 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 really just felt like I just felt like I was really um I felt really good like in my skin in that video and that honestly was like the first time that it's funny um because I put out quite a few music videos, but that was the first time. That was the first video that I've ever felt like I've, I felt like myself in it. Um, so, yeah, I don't know, <laughs> but I'm just really glad that you guys like it, and I like it. It's the first video that um, it's the first video that I've ever like watched a bunch of times after it's been released because usually other times I just get like super stressed and I'm like oh fuck I like I don't like the way that I look here or I like I don't like the way that that looks or I don't like this or I don't like that and I was so closely involved with the editing of it like I mean we it just went back and forth between me and Shannon and Tess for like 
a couple of days and we were just there for like one whole day just literally going through and like making every single beat hit exactly where I wanted it to hit and I just felt really sick to just be like fuck yeah like this is my like this is this is my song I was like super involved with keto like uh, uh, like us going back and forth really closely on the production and the mixes and stuff like that um so I don't know um, it makes me want to do like way more videos myself that was a terrible wink, but I've got, I've got some, I've got some more stuff coming for you guys. Um, home videos for the rest of your career, please. Honestly, it'll save me a lot of money, but also it just, it just feels like that's who I am. That, that's who I am. Like I just am some fucking kind of ratchet Jersey shore bitch that like, happened to get a record deal somehow and but I like still want to I still want to make <laughs> I still want to make my music the way that I like to and make things feel like the way that they've uh, that I started making them in the first place I mean that's the reason why any of you ever felt like connected to me and, and to begin with and so why ever stray away from that because you know you guys literally you're the only reason why I like stay doing what I do um it's the one part of all of this that feels really worth it in an industry that I think feels really fucking kind of scary and a little bit empty. Um, I talk about it all the time, how it's like you guys are the one thing that, that um, makes it all just feel like worth it to me. I'm going to cry talking about it. Uh, yeah. So but you guys are cute and I love you. And this song was, I put it out because you all asked for it. I literally never would have if I didn't get as many harassing t t DMs and tweets as that. Uh, and it's, it was so funny. Like it was so funny just seeing how many, how many of you were asking for it. I feel like I'm stuttering like an idiot. It's so weird talking to myself. <clears throat> um, Anyway, super grateful for everybody that was involved in this and like that being you guys. And it was really fucking cool. Somebody asked like, what, what was the difference between working with all women on this project? And it just felt like, I don't know. There was just like, there's just no, there's no ego. There was no ego. Everyone was just so down for it to be just the best fucking thing that it could be and the best version that it could be. And you know, even just with like the whole video making process and the editing process and like Tess would hit me and Shannon with an idea and then we'd hit her with an idea and be like, wait, send us the file back. I want to edit this thing. And then she'd take it back and like add something else. And then the way Keto and I went, would go back and forth. And it was just, a, it, it just felt like such a collective, like amazing flow of energy that it's like that's why it's my favorite song that I've ever been a part of from making from from start to finish um but anyway I'm glad that you guys love it babe gang 2020 and it, it honestly it just it it makes the fact that it's like in the top 25 on iTunes right now which is so crazy it makes it makes it feel like that much sweeter because it just it's a song that just feels really special to me that I feel like you guys are just super like super super involved in um and I'm super fucking grateful for that so um I text you and you didn't answer you guys I, I know for whoever's texting I am I answer so many a day and I still feel like I didn't get a dent in it and I'm genuinely like I'm so sorry I promise you though that I'm seeing so many of them and like trying to respond to everything that I can um but trust me I'm and people don't think that it's me I'm like bitch it's me trust me it's me I would send you a selfie but I look so ugly right now that I don't want you to see that it's me and have this photo in your camera roll to use against me um but it's really me and I'm really the one reading them and I'm really the one sending out all the messages myself and I know I know I know I can't get any of the messages from from Europe but 
I promise. Yeah, my eyeliner is fixed. I sent out a video today. Thank you. I sent out a text. And my eyeliner was leaking off the side of my face. Um, so that's good. But you know what, guys? Eyeliner wings are cousins, not twins. Now, is it sisters, not twins? I don't know what the phrase is. Somebody keeps asking me what highlighter I wear. And I need to figure it out. Actually, I don't know if I can figure it out. Because it's like came in a sample of something else from like CVS. Like it's something, it's something shitty. And it's literally in a with no name on it, which is kind of sus, but clearly people like it. So, um, sorry, I just had a burp and I didn't know if it was going to be really loud or not. That's for your eyebrows, eyebrows, Carrie, not your wings. No, I think that's a wing thing. Like eyeliner wings are sisters, not twins. Oh. We need better on TikTok now. Okay, I'll get it on TikTok. I'm so I TikTok gives me like so much I I literally spend so much time and I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah, I could do this. I should totally do this. And then I just like I, I just can't get myself to do it because I want to learn to dance. Can somebody send me some attractive? Oh my god, I'm reading some I'm reading somebody else's comment that said, You're so attractive that I read the word attractive. Can somebody send me um can someone send me easy TikTok dances? Like something that's a bit more simple. TikTok is stressful, it makes me feel old. Yeah, me too. You're you're not the only one. Um, but maybe somebody send me some some like easy TikTok dances. I keep getting confused on it too. I'm like, how do I find the trending audio? And Channel will just be like, this is a pathetic conversation. What do you mean? How do you find the trending audio? I just, I'm confused. Um, but anyway. Yeah, I'll get better. I'll get better on TikTok. Make your own dance. I don't know, guys. I think that's maybe where I draw the line. How about you guys make a dance and then I'll try to copy it. I like that idea better. I definitely like that. Okay, well, I love you guys. And how are you feeling right now? Um, feel, I feel really good today. I feel really excited today. I've just been literally stalking all of your Twitter timelines and just reading what you guys have been saying about Bitter. Um, so that's kept me pretty distracted. I had therapy today talked about some juicy shit with my therapist um that was a good time uh I really need to go get makeup remover wipes I'm out of those um I'm drinking a gluten-free beer that's not that good um what else am I doing today I was like I had one of those days where I was just like didn't have many options to, for food. And so I just kept opening the fridge and being like, yeah, I, sh I, I'm starving. I need to eat lunch, but it was like too lazy to make anything. So I ended up eating a, a bag of chips and a red pepper Un unsatisfied, unsatisfied with my lunch for sure. Um, I don't know what the fuck am I talking about? <sighs> going to make wine slushies. I want one. Are you kidding? How do you do that? I guess it's probably pretty self-explanatory. Just like wine and ice in a blender. It's like a, maybe rosé is probably the vibe for that, right? Uh, I feel like I... I feel like I say things in here that just like haunt me for a while afterwards that just get quoted. And I'm just like, fuck, why did I say that? What does that even mean? What do you use for your curly hair product wise? Um, 
currently in my hair is just a like a leave-in conditioner and then you guys I've been trying to like I've been really into like this whole like wet hair look because it that's when my hair seems to look the best but then it starts drying and I hate it can somebody please fi can we figure out a way that like Beyonce and Kim Kardashian master this like really sexy just out of the shower look because my only way is to like continuously keep spraying it with like a like a legitimate like spritzer bottle just gave away my secret that's like not really a good secret um yeah but i don't know i'm feeling okay i feel i feel good today kind of kind of anxious um but when am i not i feel like i have like a to-do list of a million things that i could do and want to do but then just like one of one of them or like half of one gets done and then i'm just like well fuck i fucked up my day but you know what? I'm learning to just like, let it, let it be, let it be. All right. Do I have anything else left to say? Stream bitters VM Fletcher a shirt. <laughs> you guys, I feel like it's kind of fine. Who cares? For all you know, I could not have pants on right now. It's quarantine. Nobody gives a fuck. Doesn't matter if my shirt's ripping. Let me live. But I also have been wearing the same clothes the entire time I've been here, and I'm so sick of all my outfits. I'm I'm a hundred percent. I'm burning. I'm burning my sweatpants when this is over as like a ritual to be like, peace out, Corona. You do. We saw the jeans. Okay, fine. Drag me. Drag me then. My my shirt says Italia. For any any of my Italians out there, ciao bella. It's not good. It's not that good. What else can I talk about? Is anybody is anybody interested in anything else about bitter? I don't know. I'm stoked that it's out. I'm drinking a gluten-free beer for the for whoever just asked, and it's not good. I miss you ripping your pants on stage. I just miss being on stage. Ugh. Don't you guys just miss shows? I just miss being a fan. I miss being a fan girl at shows. That's the thing. I'm so, I'm genuinely like I'm such a fan. I'm such a fan girl, and I miss concerts, and I miss going to concerts with my friends, and getting drunk at the concert. And I miss seeing you guys and having my post-show tequila shot with Cameron backstage. Ugh. I miss it. I can't wait to see you guys again soon. Come to Hawaii. I would love to, I would love to, to go to Hawaii. Um, what's for dinner? Shannon's cooking dinner tonight. So I will let you guys know when I find out. She is quite the master chef these days. Sorry, this beer is not doing good things for my stomach. Um, <clears throat> for this song to be a single. Um... I mean, I think I, I said it like a couple times, but I didn't really think Bitter was going to come out. I wasn't planning on putting Bitter out anytime soon. Um, I'm sorry. I don't feel good. <laughs> I wasn't planning on putting Bitter out anytime soon. I feel like a little kid that's just like so antsy in their seat. Um, what am I saying? What am I talking about? Oh, Bitter. Yeah, I don't know. It's it it's it's a, it's out. Go stream better. Uh, what even is the clean version? I think it's just a a bleeped with of the of the fuck of the fuck. It's like I know you are on the counter right before you cook the dinner. Yeah, I know you think about me when you kiss her. 
I left a taste in your mouth, cause she tastes me now That you threw out all our furniture and pictures I bet you sugarcoat the truth, I bet you're real sweet with it Yeah, I know you think about me when you kiss her I left a taste in your mouth, cause she tastes me now I'm bitter Um, you nervous to put bitter out? Yeah, I was kind of stressed about the text message that I was going to receive from my mom. And she was kind of weird about it. But, like, let me live my life, girl. I'm just a young 20-something trying to embrace my body. Like, let me live. Like, who cares if half my boob is showing and there's honey dripping down it? I think there's a lot bigger problems in the world than a risque video. But I'm kidding. My mom's my mom's my mom's my mom's not a hater. My mom's a big, my mom's one of my biggest fans, and I and I love her. Um, your number, Carrie. Your number seven on the pop charts. No way, you guys. That's crazy. If you guys get this in the top five, I will lose my mind. I'll lose my mind. Um, we got to go higher. What do we do, guys? Help me. Help me plan this. Wait, Alex, what are you talking about? Oh, how do I eat the strawberries like that? There is so much footage in the bitter video that is so not cute at all. It's fucking not cute. I should put, honestly, I should put together a video of like all the bloopers and of all the shit that Shannon was just like, no, no. Um, maybe I'll do that. Oh, spend that 129 big money. Oh my god, you guys are so cute. Thank you for buying this song. Seriously. I, I'm I'm throwing a follow. If you guys buy the song and screenshot it to me, I'll follow you on Twitter. Um Okay. Well, what are you guys doing tonight? What's everyone doing? Just chilling. What else is there to do other than be just chilling? Okay, yeah. Oh, I like that. You guys get bitter in the top five on iTunes. I'll give you. I'll give you a a full. I'll give you a full bloopers moment of. Um, of the bitter video, and trust me, it's so it's so good. It's well, I mean, it's so bad that it's good. So if you guys do that, whoa, whoa, whoa. If you guys do that, I'll make a bloopers video of Bitter. Of all the, and like the commentary in it too, because it's, there's got to be some shit in there that's just pretty. Somebody said, I love you. Can I have a virtual hug? Hi, here. <laughs> This is me squeezing you. Here, how about this? Mm -hmm. Mwah. Mwah. Okay. Well. Love you guys. Stream better in your sleep. Let's let's go. Okay, if you get a top three, I'll do, I'll do, I'll do, I'll play it acoustic. I don't know how to play it. I don't know the chords, but I'll learn it. And yeah, we can have tears for how we get this. Listen, you guys wanted, you guys wanted this song. I fucking put out this song for you. So I don't really have anybody like making plans on it for me. So like, let's just do it together. Like, let's just all be team Fletcher. That sounds really cute. Like you guys be the marketing pro, you guys be the marketing department of the label. <laughs> Do 
tell your friends to tell your friends to tell your mom to tell your grandma. No, your grandma's going to hate the video. Maybe don't send it to your grandma. Um, how do you get it to go up? Tell us what to do. Well, we just have to get just people to buy it. If you buy it on iTunes, then it, then it goes up on the charts. Yeah. And maybe should we all, like, hashtag bitter and hashtag Fletcher bitter? Maybe it'll trend. I don't know. I don't know. I, I got to, like, Google this. What's up, TDY? <laughs> uh, what about Spotify? Stream on Spotify. Just let's do it everywhere. I don't know, guys. But somebody make me a TikTok dance. Easy. Keep in mind, I'm not a dancer. I kind of, I like the like, I like the like hip swaying move. Maybe somebody could put that one in there. Nothing too extravagant. <laughs> What should what should we hashtag? Let's let's collectively decide. Let's hashtag Fletcher's bitter. I like that because then it kind of seems like I'm a better bitch, and that's sometimes true. <laughs> Or should it be hashtag stream bitter? No, because we want people to buy it too. Hashtag bitter Fletcher. Hashtag we want Coke, not Pepsi. Fletcher bitter. Fletcher bitter. Fletcher. Let's do that. Let's do Fletcher bitter. Hashtag Fletcher bitter. Blitcher. That works. I'm going to get to the follows, guys. Don't worry. It's, it's a bit overwhelming. And my phone gives me anxiety, so I'm trying to balance the two because I really want to talk to you guys, but I also, social media stresses me out to no end. All right. Well, you know what? Bitter is in the top 25 on iTunes. It's number seven on the pop charts. That's crazy. Um... The sky looks really pretty right now. Wow. It's been a cool day. I fucking love the shit out of you guys. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to pause it. I just had to turn the brightness up. You guys are my team. This is your song. Let's do the thing. I love you guys so much. Um, I'm, really, I'm really stoked that this song's out. If anybody has a drink, which I hope that I hope that for whoever is legal to drink or not, I honestly don't care what you do. Like I, I would hope that you would you bring a drink to my to my um, Instagram lives because it kind of just kind of just feels like we're just chilling and having a shitty gluten free beer together. So whoever's drinking, cheers. I love the shit out of you guys. Um, stream bitter, buy bitter. Let's, let's get her popping. Let's give her the love and the attention that she deserves. Let's treat her right. Um, I love you guys so much. And oh, it's bad luck. I have to cheers after I do it. Cheers, 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 cheers. That ain't it. <clears throat> um, all right. <laughs> I always never know how to get off of these. Okay, but that's the goal. That's the goal. We're just gonna, we're gonna make, we're gonna make bitter. Team Fletch, we're all in this together. Um, but yeah, I love you guys and I hope you're all staying safe and that you're okay and that your hearts are okay. I know this is like such a weird 
such a weird time and it's such an emotional roller coaster, like even just within a day. I've said that before, but um, I just hope that you're hanging in there. Uh, like, I know it, it feels like, when is this going to end? And I think everyone's mental health is like taking such a toll. And uh, I'm, I'm sorry if you're just like in that position and not feeling like yourself. I, I haven't really been feeling like myself either. Um, but just know that, trust me, there are so many people that are in your shoes right now that are feeling the same thing and it's worth it to be here and it's worth it to stay and we fucking need you and you're important and I love you so much and there's so many people that love you so much. Um, and thank you for always being here for me. I'm always here for you. And uh, we're going to get through this. We're going to do it. We're going to do it together. We're going to come out on the other side of this and we're going to be able to go to restaurants and go out in places and, and, and be with family and be with friends and celebrate each other. And, and for anyone that's still working and as an essential worker right now, like, thank you from, from the bottom of my heart um, on behalf of all of us for, you know, keeping us safe and, and allowing us to still be able to get the things we need to get and do the things we need to do. Um, so I love you. Hang in there, please hang tight like this is gonna that's the thing this is temporary it's temporary all shitty feelings are temporary i was talking about that with my therapist that literally like an emotion like it has is it has a science to it and an emotion a feeling will end like there is a an onset and a peak and a decline of an emotion and it goes away and it doesn't mean that it's who you are and it's not gonna last forever and it's temporary and just push through it and just take a deep breath. Like we're going to be fine. Life's short and life is beautiful. And the whole point of life is like feeling all the fucking things. Otherwise it means that you're not alive. So if you're in a season right now that feels really shitty, it's the one that you're meant to be in. And it's like making, it's making you stronger and it's part of who you are. Um, which is something that I definitely needed to remind myself recently. So I don't know if anybody else needed to, to hear that. Um, but yeah, we're going to be okay. It's going to be good. And this shit's going to pass. It's all about the ups and downs. And it's the whole point of even just being a human. Like if you're not feeling everything and not feeling the full scope of emotions and like all of it, like how cool. That's so cool that we get to feel those things. And even when a new one comes on, I'm like, hmm, I've never had this emotion before. What, what is that? And like how cool it means that I'm alive that I get to even feel that. So I'm trying to be more grateful for the feelings that I'm having, even if they're like fucking blow, <laughs> even if they don't feel that good. Um, I don't know. Maybe that's just a bunch of crock shit that doesn't make any sense to anybody, but I love you and I'm here for you. And um, you guys mean the world to me. And yeah, cool. I love you. I keep saying I love you. I'm so bad at leaving these things. I'm like the grandma that doesn't want to hang up the phone at the end. One more hug. Let's all hug it out. Ooh. All right. Love you guys. Uh, stream bitter. Let's pop this shit off. Let's get our climbing up the charts. You're welcome for the free therapy. And I love you guys. Wherever you are, stay safe. And just keep Live in your damn life, however you want to live it. It's nobody else's. Okay. Good night, Insta. I love you, Fletch fam. Talk to you guys soon.